All right, final bonus tip. One last thing. Bonus. That is going to be changing your Jupiter theme. So if you're maybe like a dark theme type guy uh, or girl, um, this is something that is very cool and I just learned about through a video from Algo Vibes. So I'll link his video in the description. I was kind of looking at some of the Jupiter Notebook videos to make sure I didn't replicate, uh, you know, steal everything that other people were doing. But luckily the things I wanted to show were, you know, significantly different than other videos on the, the topic. But what we can do is we can actually change the Jupiter theme to like a Monokai theme. So what we're gonna have to do is do a pip install Jupiter themes. And then after you install Jupiter themes, there's going to be a command that you run. Uh, so I'm gonna just close this Jupyter notebook real quick. Open up a new terminal. Open up a new terminal. And in here, I'm going to do a, so we've installed now Jupyter themes. We did that in our Jupyter notebook. If you do JT dot dash L, so JT for Jupyter theme, it's kind of the command we run. We see we have these available themes. You could also do JT.H to get a full feel of what you can do. So you can also change the font. A lot of cool options here. But JT-L, list out the things. And then we can do JT-T um, to switch the theme. And I love Monokai. That's how my Sublime text looks. So I'm going to change my theme to Monokai. I am going to then uh, navigate to the folder I'm working in. And I'm going to run my Jupyter Notebook there. And we'll see, we now have a Monokai themed Jupyter Notebook. Uh, looks pretty, pretty cool. And especially like if you're someone that's sensitive eyes, like, it's nice to have this option available. And one thing to note is like, if you start writing code in here, you'll see kind of the changes very clearly. Import pandas as pd, uh, you know, pd.readcsv, enter a path there, def, uh, new function, So for I and range, you can see, so the colors are all different, kind of nice. I also noticed that this never saved before. Save. Um, but, you know, if you, if you don't like the white theme, if you want something darker, it's nicer in your eyes. It's pretty cool to know about this. And nothing saved from before because I exited it out of that way too quickly. So everything's the same here. Um, and I'll add kind of some instructions that are useful, but the, I think the final thing you'll want to know about, save this real quick, exit out, exit out. Uh, the final thing you'll want to know is that it's one thing to change your theme, but let's say you hate the theme you change it to. You can go back to all defaults by doing JT dash. Oh, you can do JT. You can go back to all defaults by doing JT dash R, which means restore. And if you then open up your Jupyter Notebook again, we'll see we're back to our good old handy dandy white Jupyter Notebook. But another cool thing that if you are a very picky person, very useful to have that in your back pocket. And I'll update this with some instructions and I'll add some additional resources, additional links that I use to this Jupyter Notebook if you wanna learn more about any of these bullet points. 
But I think that that's all we're going to cover in this video. Uh, thank you all for watching.